All right, section one, two. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about measuring stuff. In fact, they, they name it linear. Uh-oh. Why didn't it? Oh, i got to put, let's try this again. Linear measure. Write this down. Everybody should be taking notes. Everything that I write down, you should be writing down. All right, so linear measure. Is everybody right? If I don't see you writing, I'm going to write you up. Ooh. So write. Or write. Because you're not following instructions. Or okay. Tell me your instructions. Board. All right. So talking about linear measure. Uh, measure, of course, that's what we use rulers for, isn't it? To measure something. Um, what's in this word linear? Line. Okay. I I asked that one year. I said, what's in the word linear? And somebody said, ear. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> and near is in there as well. Um, okay. Thanks. Um, but the word line is what I'm looking for, okay? The word line. So we're measuring what? Lines, okay? And that's what we're going to do. So let's put a line here. I'll just tell you what. Let's make this a little bit thicker. Okay. There we go. It's a little thicker than I usually do. But there's a line right there. And I want to measure that line. Let's listen now. Okay, so here's a line. So what we're going to do, this... Um, what do you think this ruler, uh, what do you think the units of this ruler are? Do you think that's an inch ruler or a foot ruler? Or is it a centimeter, centimeter ruler? ruler? Or what do you think? Well, let's think about it. Between 0 and 1, let's count how many things do we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ten. 6, 7, 8, 9, what? 10. So it's not inches because centimeters. inches would be split up. Well, inches, listen. Let me talk, let me talk. Inches would be split up into half an inch, and then what? Quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, right? But that's not what's going on here, is it? It's split up into ten equal parts. So if it's split into ten equal parts, what unit of measurement do you think we're using here? Metric, which would, and this would be, if it's measuring length, from zero to one would probably be a what? Well, it'd probably be a centimeter, okay? Now, it doesn't say on here, but that's I think that's what it is. It'd be centimeters. So let's measure this line right here. Let's measure it in centimeters. So what do we do? We take the ruler and we put, is that pretty close? Right there. And so we measure, oh, yeah, it looks like it hits right on 13. Now, I just drew that line out, you know, just a certain length. I didn't even care what it was. But, yeah, I would say 13. So if they ask you to measure this, it's 13 centimeters, all right? Let's change Tell you what, let's move the ruler. Let's just change this, and just I'll just arbitrarily go with this. All right. So let's use the arrow key. I'll be a little more specific. About right there. Okay. Oops. Does that look like it lines up pretty good? Right there. And this is maybe a little short of nine. Do you think? So yeah, I'd say probably what about eight point nine. But it's oops, I forgot I made that too thick. Go back to one point. There we go. So um, what would it be? It'd be 8.9 what? Centimeters. centimeters. Or you could, if you wanted to put it in millimeters, what would this be in millimeters? Say it. 89. Very good. It'd be 89 millimeters, wouldn't it? All right, because each of those real little ones, see the real, real tiny ones? Those would be millimeters. The big numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, those would be centimeters. So the little ones would be millimeters. So I just multiply it by 10 and I get 89 millimeters. Are you with me on this? Okay. Um, let's just do one more and then I don't know if I have a, I used to have a, let's put it like right in there or something like that. Okay. So what would that be right there? Six point, let's say two or three, probably three I guess. Okay. It looks pretty good. If we blew it up, watch I can blow it up, get a little bit better view. So that's one, yeah I'd say almost three. Looks like it's about halfway in between, doesn't it? But if I gave this to you on a quiz or something like this, and if you said, oh my goodness, I went back to that. Okay, if I said, um, oh, it's not two, six point what? Two, or, right, six point what? Three. You know, if you, d if you said either one, that'd be close. I mean, because you could go either way, right? It's a little bit, it's a little bit small to tell exactly where it is, but that's pretty pretty good for you. All right? Does it make sense? So that's the kind of stuff we're doing. We could do it in inches as well. Okay, now you're not always going to measure stuff in centimeters, are you? All right? You might use inches and stuff like this. Now look, this ruler right here, I should have used this in the first place, but um, this ruler measures things both in centimeters and in 
inches, okay? Look at the difference from 0 to 1, and look how they break it up. They br this would be how much of an inch right there? That'd be half of that, wouldn't it? Now, if we go half of that, that would be this one. So what's half of a half? That'd be one-fourth. And then what would this little one right here be? This would be half of a fourth. What's half of a fourth? It'd be an eighth. So this particular ruler doesn't go down to sixteenths, does it? It only goes to eighths. So again, this would be one-eighth. That'd be two-eighths. But what's two-eighths? One-fourth, right. And this would be three-eighths. Four-eighths. What's another way to say four-eighths? One-half. And then five-eighths. Six-eighths. What's another way to say six-eighths? Three-fourths. Good. And then this would be what? Seven-eighths. And this would be eight-eighths or just one. Everybody see that? So let's do another um, let's do another line. Let's make it a little thicker. And I'm just going to just draw it out like this. Okay, I didn't really measure it out or anything. Let's measure this one, not in centimeters, but let's measure it in inches. So let's take this ruler. And where do we start? Do we just put it to the edge of the ruler? Is that what we do? Where does it start? It starts at that line right there. See this line? That's where we want to start it. So let me scooch it down a little closer to the line. And let's scooch it over. What do you think? About right there? That looks pretty good. All right, so let's measure it out. Now, it might be in between, but pick the one that it's closest to. So it's going to be... It's going to be four, and let's see. This would be a half, right? Or four eighths, and this would be five eighths. Okay, half is four eighths, right? Because again, it's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, what? Five eighths. So it's four and five eighths inches. Okay? Now look. If you talk to somebody that's a carpenter, maybe uh, somebody's dad or uncle or brother, somebody's a carpenter, or it could be mom or aunt or sister, right? It doesn't have to be a guy. But um, they'll almost always measure things like this, okay, in eighths of an inch or sixteenths of an inch or something like that. But wouldn't it, what, don't you think it would be a little bit easier if you were measuring stuff in centimeters? Don't you think that's just a little bit easier than thinking, okay, what is this? This is, you know, instead of saying um, – Two eighths, it's one fourth. You know, you got to think of that. And this is one eighth, and this is three eighths. Aren't those numbers a lot more confusing than just saying, you know, 4.2, 4.7, 4.4? 4 .4? To me, I think that's a lot easier, don't you? Well, the rest of the world measures stuff like that in centimeters, except for America, and we do this. And the carpenters would probably get all thrown off anyway. Uh, mechanics, but now, is anybody uh, into mechanics at all, like working on cars and things like that? If you use your, um, your, uh, your socket, right uh, set that's <laughs> there's a little I don't know how would you explain that to somebody it's those round things where you put into a bolt and you twist them right you twist it and then it comes back up makes that clicking noise right those are great things or sockets so anyway listen to me a lot of times if you get a tool set like that you'll get like half of it in the English system and then half of it in the metric system or you could get one that's just English or one that's just metric but you go to cars now listen you work on a lot of cars now, and it's funny. In one engine, some of the bolts will be in English system in inches, right? And then some bolts will be in metric. It's really, it's really Volkswagen. Is that way? Yeah, because I mean, I'm not much of a mechanic at all, but I do know that some cars, it's all in metric system, so it's all in like centimeters and stuff. And some, and right, and Volkswagen's German, and in Germany, you know, yeah, uh, BMW is German as well. Anybody know what BMW stands for? What? B M W. The M is motor, and then W is works. What do you think the B stands for? It's. I used. To, you know what I used to think. I used to think it was British Motor Works, but it's not because BMW is actually a German car. It's called Bavarian. Bavarian Motor Works. Um, Bavaria. It's like a. It's in Germany. Okay. I don't think it's a name for Germany, but I think it's a area in Germany. Um, Bavaria. But so it's Bavarian Motor Works. Now, how do we get to talking about that? I don't know. Metric English, right? With cars. So there you go. That's how you measure stuff. Everybody good with that so far? All right. Enough of that. I think we're done with measuring. Um, let's do this. Okay. Now we're going to talk about some line segments. So let's draw another line. And we'll put some points on it, just like we've learned before. Guys, let's listen now. Let's listen. All right, let's put a few points in here. We'll call this point A, B, and C. All right, 
Sorry, I'm not more creative, but that's easy enough. Here's a word that we're going to use. Look at B. Point B, what would, how would you describe point B in, in reference to A and C? So here's A on one side. Okay, it's close. Is it in the center, though? You don't know that it's in the center. It might be, it might not be. You don't really know, though, do you? Okay. Well, give me, somebody give me a word, just a normal everyday word, that it's what? Closer. For A and C. Yeah, it's closer to A, but A is on one side, C is on the other side, B is in between. In between. We can't say in the middle, because if I say in the middle, I'm saying it's exactly the same distance from A and C. Do I know that about point B? No, I don't. Okay, I haven't been told. All right. I, I really don't know, but I do know this. Let's pay attention, please. Okay. Who's that back there? Michael, get your head up. All the way up. Okay. Look up here. No popping and gum. No, you pop gum just before that. That was my finger. Okay. Don't, don't click your fingers there. <laughs> All right. Why would you do that in my math class? All right. Here we go. Look. B is, what we say? It's between. Okay. And we're just going to say between instead of in between. We'll say that B is between what and what? A and C. Right. And you say, well, okay. Is that really that hard? <laughs> no, it's not. But watch what happens. If I know that B is between A and C, I want you to see this. This is very, very important. Look at this little segment right here. Okay? And then look at this segment right here. So you are popping a gum. I <laughs> But you told me... That, but that time it was my finger. But then you popped gum right after I said, why would you do that? I don't get that. Look at this. Look at this little segment right here. Let's, uh, let's pretend we measured it. All right? I'm just making this up. Let's say that measurement from A to B is 3. Okay? 3, whatever. 3 units. We'll just say 3 units. I don't care if it's in inches or centimeters. Let's say from B to C, I'm just making this up. Let's say it's 5. All right? Now, what would I say about the length of AC? It's 8. That's right, because this little part's 3, this little part's 5, so from A all the way to C must be what? Must be 8. Now let me show you a little, um, you know how we did those symbols with the line and all that kind of thing? We didn't do line segment yet, have we? No? Okay, but um, I guess when should I do that? I think that might be a little bit. We'll do that next after this. Oh, I should have done that first. That's okay. But watch this. This right here, this part from A to B, the length of it is 3. From B to C, the length of it is 5. The whole length from A to C is, um, is 8. This is what we do. If I say the length of, write this down. We have a symbol, the length of something. All right, so the length from A to B, so the length of AB. Instead of writing out the word the length of, if I just put an A, capital A, next to a capital B, and don't put any line over top of it at all, all right? So that's my symbol. My symbol is no symbol, okay? If I don't put anything over top of it at all, what does that mean? That means the what? The length of AB. So let's take a look at it. So here's a question. What if it said, what if a question on the quiz or test said, or homework said, find AB with no line symbol over top of it? What does that mean? That means find the length from A to B. How long is it from A to B up here? It's 3, isn't it? Okay, so that's our symbol. Our symbol is kind of like not a symbol. All right, it's kind of weird. Now, what if I said this? What if I said find BC? It's 5, exactly right. What does that mean when I say BC with no line over top of it? It means the what? The length of. The length of line segment BC. Everybody's getting this, right? All right? You writing this down? Okay, all right. What if I said, what's the other thing I could probably say? Find AC. Now, this is where we actually do a little bit of math. When I say a little bit, I really mean a little bit. right? So really, all we're doing is what? Adding up 3 and 5. That's right. From A to C, I basically just add up 3 and 5, which is 8. Okay? Why are you doing this? Okay, there should be paper out. You should be writing this stuff down. All right? Well, yeah, that's not where it's supposed to be, though. Put it on your desk and write this stuff down. You do it on purpose, or you just don't know? I, well, it sure seems like you are. So here we go. So if I said find AC, then that's what it would be. Now that seems pretty simple, right? And I know you guys are you're not paying a lot of attention right now, like I, I really want you to. 
um, because it's going to get a little more difficult. But that's what we would do if I told you what that was and what that was. All right. Let me do one more thing. I should have done this right at the beginning. You know how we did? I could call this line AC, couldn't I? Or I could call it line AB, right? Or I could, right, I could go backwards on it. Or I could call it BC, right? Or I can reverse these, CA, BA, or CB. But those are my possibilities to call this line. But what if I only want to talk about from A to B? Then I don't call it line AB, because line AB means it would keep on going forever. If I just stopped, started at A and stopped at B, we don't call that a line. We call that a line segment. All right? I don't think we did. I don't believe we did. Lines go on and on. Line segment doesn't go on and on. Okay, listen to what I said. I just said it. A line keeps on going forever. This is not a line from it. Starting at A and stopping at B, that doesn't go on forever, does it? It has a beginning and it what? Has an end. All right? If it has a beginning and, an, and it has an end, we call that not just a line, but a line what? Segment. And here's the symbol for line segment. We put AB, and we don't put a line with arrows because the arrows will mean it keeps on going. I want to show that it starts at A and it ends at B. We actually don't put any dots at all. We just put a line with no arrow at all. Okay? So write that down. You should be writing it down. You, you didn't write that down. Write it. No. Write it down. Stop. Come on. You do need to write it down. Why do you need to write it down? Because I asked you to write it down. If for no other reason. Listen. I asked you to write it down, so you write it down. Don't give me a reason why you shouldn't write it down. The only reason you should write it down right now is because I asked you to. If that's all there is, that's all that matters. It, it's, it's right on disrespect right now. It really is. So this right there means a line segment. Line segment, that means it goes from this point to this point. It does not keep on going. Now, I could reverse it. I could also call it... B, A, and put a line segment. It's the same thing. From B to A, it's that length. So a line segment has a start and it has an end, has a finish. 